There's a lot of really weird stuff going on uh, with the Baltimore Ravens, specifically with John Harbaugh and how he spoke about Roquan Smith and then with Tyus Bowser and how he spoke, well, really did not speak uh, about himself. First, let's start off with Roquan Smith. Yesterday, uh, Roquan Smith, he had missed practice, and a lot of us, we're looking around like, uh, what's that about? We didn't see Roquan Smith get injured uh, in the last game against the Lions, and we haven't heard about him nursing any injuries or dealing with anything. Like, what's going on with Roquan Smith? Most of us were hoping that hey, it's just a, a vet rest day and he's just chilling right now, what not taking it easy. Because, hey, this man, that's a $100 million linebacker right there, and he is playing like a $120 million linebacker. He has been more than worth the investment. He's been balling out of his mind. But sometimes, even all ballers, they need a break sometimes. They need a rest sometimes. So we're like, okay, Roquan, hey, you want to chill, take a day off, no problem, we get it. But, you see, it, it wasn't that. And with John Harbaugh, when he was asked about, hey, John, what, what, what's happening with Roquan Smith? What, what, where was Roquan Smith at today? He said he just wasn't out there. I'm not commenting on any of that really at this point in time. The injury report will be out at 4 p.m. And now we know, like, sometimes Harbaugh can be like this. But Harbaugh can be very, he can be very iffy. He can be very back and forth when it comes to speaking about injuries. But I would think, this is just me, maybe this is just me, I would think that, a player under contract like there, there ain't no contract disputes there aren't any rumors of this player not reporting to the training facility uh to treat any injuries like there, there's nothing like that going on right now but with Roquan Smith under contract you're paying him 20 million dollars a year I would think that this would be somebody who you would want to let people know like hey okay this is what's going on this is what was sustained this is the injury uh hopefully he'll be back out there tomorrow so, something but to just Leave it up in the air like th I, I just thought that was really weird. And then the Baltimore Ravens from their official website, um, they had put out an article uh, probably about like 430. We were all waiting for the injury report to come out. Usually it comes out at about four. Sometimes they, they push it to about 430, but they didn't put out an injury report at first. And what they did, they put out an article. And the way that the article started off yesterday uh, is said that Roquan Smith did not practice on Wednesday. It did not say why. So it just said Roquan Smith didn't practice Wednesday, and then it jumped to uh, Smith would have played all the snaps against the Lions but was one of the starters pulled late in the Ravens' 38-6 win. He didn't mention any injury to reporters after the game. That's how the article started off. But now it, it's since been edited. And now it says uh, Ravens linebacker Roquan Smith did not practice Wednesday because of a shoulder injury marking the first time he has missed practice this season. So they, they fixed that. But then... What happened later on, the Arizona Cardinals, they put out an injury report before the Baltimore Ravens did. And on their injury report, they let it be known like, hey, Roquan Smith, he has a shoulder injury. He did not practice with a shoulder injury. And then about 30 minutes after the Cardinals put out their injury report, that's when the Baltimore Ravens, they put out theirs. And they put it out with the graphic where it says, oh, this player did not practice. And uh, that graphic, of course, included uh, Keaton Mitchell, Roquan Smith, Marcus Williams, Kevon Seymour return to practice, uh, and Tylen Wallace return to practice as well. Shout out to Tylen Wallace, by the way, making his way back. But, yeah, I just – that was just really weird. Like, why? I, I, I just did not get it or understand. Maybe some of y'all be able to break it down, like, why it was – it was handled the way that it was handled. Uh, I just thought that was unnecessary and, and very awkward. Uh, but what's been even more awkward, way more than this whole Roquan Smith thing, has been everything going on, or really everything not going on uh, with Tyus Bowser. Uh, of course, it was expected earlier this year, hey, Tyus Bowser, Harbaugh said he, maybe he'll be back by week one, maybe week two, maybe week three. Um, that was the hope. Uh, but that obviously didn't happen. They put him on the NFI list, and he has not returned since. Uh, then a couple weeks ago, Harbaugh said, hey, I, I, I'll just let Tyus Bowser, I'll let him comment on his status. I'll let him tell you what's going on. I'll leave that up to him. Uh, and it's like, okay. So then Tyus Bowser, he went on the Tyus Bowser show that he does with Rita and uh, Glenn Clark that they do every single week. Uh, and he went on there and said, I'm out there trying. He said, I'm feeling better. Uh, the hope is that I can play this year. Uh, that, that's my goal. He didn't give anything definitive. He didn't say he would play this year. He didn't say it was going to absolutely happen. But he said that he was trying. He said he was moving better and feeling better and whatnot. And that was what we like to hear. It's like, okay, because having Tyus Bowser adding him to this team could make the Baltimore Ravens even better, even more versatile, and just help other people too. 
Um, but then two days ago, Harbaugh was asked about Tyus Bowser, and he said, um, it, "There's there's no resolution with Tyus Bowser," and I said, oh, "Oh, okay." And the resolution, that word. The last time we heard John Harbaugh use the word resolution, it was when he talked about Ronnie Stanley. And I believe that was a couple of years ago when Ronnie Stanley had an injury that he was debating on whether trying to play through a rehab or getting a surgery. I think it was an ankle injury, I believe. Oh, don't quote me on that. But it was a couple of years ago. Um, and then Ronnie Stanley didn't end up playing uh, for the rest of that year. So, <laughs> yeah. But then yesterday, it got even more weird because what John Harbaugh has done, he's placed the ball in Tyus Bowser's court. Like, all right, Bowser, it's all on you. You can speak about it if you want to. Go ahead and do your thing. All right, cool, no problem. So the reporters approached Tyus Bowser yesterday, and Tyus Bowser declined to comment. So... <laughs> It's, it's just weird, man. It's, it's just there's there's a it's, it's been like this for a long time when it's come to Harbaugh with injuries. Like Harbaugh can be sometimes he can be very careful when he speaks about injuries. Uh, when he he usually will hold back a lot, but sometimes when he speaks about injuries, he will be very he, he can be specific too. And sometimes he can give timetables, but I think he makes sure he does that when he's absolutely sure about what it is. But the whole thing with Roquan Smith not saying anything about that. Well, y'all, y'all will see when the injury report comes out. About Roquan Smith out of all people. Like, mm, yeah, but the Tyus Bowser thing is just, it, it, it's it been crazy. Um, so we're still in the dark. We don't know what's going on. I know there have been some Ravens fans <laughs> that have wondered, oh, man, is Tyus Bowser getting ready to be traded? Now, I, I, I don't think so, like, at all. Uh, but I don't know how that works with him being on the NFI list. Uh, I don't even know if that's a real possibility. Obviously, he has to be healthy to be traded. Um, but with that, like Jonathan Taylor, he could have been. I think I read something that said he could have been traded while he was on either the PUP. I think. So, but anyway, with Tyus Bowser, will he be traded? I'm, I would not count on that. But they, they're just in a very weird space right now it's such a weird uh dynamic uh, between Tyus Bowser and the Baltimore Ravens or Tyus Bowser and John Harbaugh at least what's being publicly put out there it just seems like they're in a very weird place um it seems like we're we're like we're like kids us as the audience uh and fans of the team uh, and almost media too we're, we're like the kids and our parents they're fighting they're, 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 they're having this this weird back and forth uh, But they're doing it calmly It's not like they're not doing yelling And shouting and screaming and whatnot. But they're, they're doing it calmly uh, But it's still like hey, What's what's going on with y'all too that, That's what we just We just want to know What's going on um, So I, I guess we'll, we'll know when we know Who knows when that will be Another week goes by with Big question mark With what's going on With number 54 on the Baltimore Ravens uh, but one thing that's not a question mark is that these varsity jackets from uh, StandWithUsClothing.com are fire. They 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 are more than fire, uh, and especially with it being wintertime, uh, it's gonna be getting a little bit cool. I know I'm down here in South Florida, so cool uh, to cool down here is different than cool up there. So y'all need these jackets more than ever. And this I, I forgot to mention that uh, StandWithUsClothing.com they're from Baltimore. So they're right over there from the crib, man. So all of y'all will be able to resonate with these jackets even more. Uh, but if you want your own varsity jacket, whether you want this one, uh, whether you want it in gray and black, whether you want it in purple and black, uh, then you can head to StandWithUsClothing.com. The link is right down below in the description. I left it there for you just to make it easy. And I took you straight to where you can get your own varsity jacket and get it in your size. Now, what I'm also going to include is the fact that you can get 10% off of the jacket. If you want 10% off the jacket, uh, you can use code engraving. Simple as that. That's it. 10% off. So, like I always say, don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I ain't tell you. Don't say I ain't try to put you on because I do all of those things. And I do it for y'all because I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like these and just everything that's going on with our favorite team, the Baltimore Ravens. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, and who knows how long he'll be like this for. But just like Tyus Bowser's current status, when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we out.